Google Wi-Fi is not your typical wireless router. It's a sleek, easy to use device that's designed to be the simplest and most future-proof way of filling your home with Wi-Fi. It comes in a one pack for $129 or a three pack for $299. So you can get just one if you want to replace your current Wi-Fi router in an area up to 1500 square feet. But one of the main features of Google Wi-Fi is the expandable mesh network, which lets you have multiple Google Wi-Fi points that work seamlessly together to fill up an area up to 4,500 square feet with no dead spots. It has a quad core ARM CPU, blazing fast AC 1200 Wi-Fi standard, simultaneous dual band Wi-Fi with network assist technology, and it's backwards compatible with your current devices. In the box, you have the Google Wi-Fi point with two gigabit ethernet ports, a quick start guide, a six and a half foot ethernet cable, and the power cable. To set up Google Wi-Fi, you'll need a free Google account, an Android or iOS device, high-speed internet, and a modem. First, connect your power cable to the Google Wi-Fi point, then connect the Ethernet cable from your modem into the globe icon port on the Wi-Fi point, then connect the power adapter into an outlet. Next, install the free Google Wi-Fi app on your smartphone or tablet, and make sure Bluetooth is turned on as well. When the app finds your Wi-Fi point, it will ask you to scan the QR code that's on the base of the device, or you can type the code manually. Select the location of your Wi-Fi point so you can identify it later. The next steps will ask you to name your Wi-Fi network and create a Wi-Fi password. Google Wi-Fi uses WPA2 PSK security if you were wondering. The app will proceed to create and finalize your network, tell it how many Wi-Fi points you have, then click next, and it will most likely start to install available updates. That's another good thing about Google Wi-Fi, it has automatic security updates. Now when you see that your Wi-Fi is ready, you can go to your Wi-Fi settings and connect to the new Wi-Fi network that you just created. One of the best features of Google Wi-Fi is the app, which not only walks you through the entire setup like we just did, but it's also the one-stop shop to easily manage your Wi-Fi network. Some of the things you can do include network checks, which tests your internet download and upload speeds and keeps a history of the speeds for you to compare. You can also test the speed of the Wi-Fi to your device to make sure you have a good base connection. You can set up guest Wi-Fi that creates a totally separate Wi-Fi network for guests with its own separate name and password. You can enable a feature called Family Wi-Fi Pause, which is good for parents who want to turn off Wi-Fi access to their kids' devices at certain times. You can also see all the devices that are currently connected to your network, along with a list of devices that have connected in the past. You can give priority to a device for a certain period of time. You can see your network data usage. In the settings area, you can change various settings of your Wi-Fi point, reset it, do some advanced tasks like setting IP reservations, universal plug and play, port forwarding, or changing DNS servers. Now, one of the biggest concerns of owning a router made by Google is wondering if Google is spying on your data. Well, here's the clause from the Wi-Fi app. It states in bold, Google Wi-Fi app and your Wi-Fi points do not track the websites you visit or collect the content of any traffic on your network. So I'm not too worried about Google spying on my data traffic. However, some of the things I don't particularly like about Google Wi-Fi is the lack of ethernet ports. Most routers have at least four ethernet ports while Google Wi-Fi only has two. And for $129, it seems like it should definitely have four ports. I also wish they offered a two pack instead of just a one and three pack. Having said that, I still think Google Wi-Fi is one of the best wireless routers you can get right now because of the automatic updates, simplicity of setup and management using the free app, the sleek white design, and especially the super fast expandable mesh network for future proofing. I bought it to replace my old wireless router and I'm definitely keeping it. If you wanna get one for yourself, the link is in the description below. My question for you is what router do you have right now and will you be replacing it with Google Wi-Fi? Leave a comment and let me know. My name is Andy, thank you for watching and I will see you in the next video video.